Hi guys! So today we're going to solve another material balance problem and we're going to get the problem from this book. And nakita ninyo siguro sa previous post natin sa ating Facebook page ng Chemical Engineering Philippines that I recently purchased this book sa book sale. So I think it's a good idea na try natin kumuha ng problem sa books na to and then we're going to solve it. So, the problem that I chose is this problem 3.1 and yung sagot niya is nandito na rin. Ano? So, what is missing is yung solution. So, we're going to solve this problem now. So, let me first read yung problem natin bago natin sagutan. The feed water to the reverse osmosis plant has dissolved solids to the extent of 5,000 mg per liter. The feed to product ratio on a mass basis is 4 by 3. The treated water or the product from the plant contains 600 mg per liter of solids. Find the dissolved solids in the rejected stream. Alright, so para mas maintindihan natin, no, mas maganda na ma-illustrate natin yung ating conditions. So let's say this is our process. Okay, then according to our process, we have a feed water in here. We also have a product and then we have the reject. Okay, meron tayong reject stream. So, this is our feed stream. So, let me label this. This is our product stream and this is our reject stream. And then, given naman yung ating mga dissolved solid content no, sa bawat stream natin except for our reject because this is what we're going to find out now. Okay, for our feed, we have 5,000 milligrams per liter for our product we have 600 milligrams per liter okay so ang inahanap natin is for the reject stream now another given is yung ating feed to product ratio okay so we have feed to product ratio which is 4 over 3 okay okay so allow me to present p as a function of f so that means from this relationship we have p is equal to 3f over 4 no so tinranspose lang natin yung ating mga given para ma-isolate natin yung p okay so base sa ating illustration we can get our overall material balance so let me write that here we have overall material balance so, we have F is equal to R plus P, di ba? But we can present our P as a function of F, no? So, we can substitute that here. So, our F is equal to R plus our P which is 3F over 4. So, multiplying both sides of our equation by 4, we have 4F is equal to 4R plus 3F. Okay, so pareho tayong merong F sa left and right side ng ating equation. So, we can subtract that. 4F minus 3F will be 1F. So, I have F is equal to 4R. Okay, since we are able to present P as a function of F, so let's do the same here. Let's represent our R as a function of F. So, our R is equal to f um, over 4. Okay? Okay, so now let's do our overall component balance. Okay, so in this case, we will use x to represent yung ating dissolved solid. No, So that means we have for our feed, we'll multiply that to our dissolved solid for f equal to our product times the dissolved solid in our product plus in our reject multiply to the dissolved solid in our reject okay but we can represent our p and our r as a function of f no so substitute lang natin so we have f x f is equal to our p so ano yung p natin uli 3f over 4 so we have 3f over 4 times x p then plus our r we can also represent as a function of f so we have um, 
f over 4, so f over 4 times x r. Alright. But since both sides of our equation has f, so that means we can cancel out f by factoring out yung f sa right side ng equation. No? So we have f xf is equal to f times 3 xp over 4 plus xr over 4. Right? So, we can cancel yung ating f. Okay? Then, multiply both side by 4 para magkaroon tayo ng mas malinaw na equation. So, I will have 4 xf is equal to 3 xp plus xr. Now, we can substitute yung ating mga dissolved solids in here. So, for our feed, we have 4 times our xf we can get our dissolved solids sa ating feed, which is 5,000 milligrams per liter. So, we have 5,000 is equal to 3 times our XP, yung dissolved solid natin sa ating product, which is 600. Okay, so let me write 600 here. Then, plus our XR. Ito naman yung hinahanap natin ngayon. Okay, so... We can isolate our XR. XR is equal to um, 4 times 5,000 minus 3 times 600. So that means our XR is equal to, let's use our calculator. Okay, so let me put dito sa side na to para makita natin yung result. So we have 4 times 5,000 minus 3 times 600, which is 18,200 milligrams per liter. So, this is our final answer for this problem. And as you can see, 18,200, so this is the same as what we needed in here. Okay? So, that means our answer is correct. Okay, so I hope nagustuhan ninyo itong ating solve problem for today sa material balance for chemical engineering calculation. Well, by the way guys, if you are looking for more solved problems ng chemical engineering calculations, well, meron kasi tayo ditong part sa ating YouTube channel kung saan meron tayo ditong chemical engineering calculations reviewer. But if you open this, may kita ninyo that yung mga video natin dito is for members only, no? So, hindi mo to ma-access in public. So, kailangan uh, magpa-member kayo sa ating YouTube channel. So, we have, uh, I don't know how many solved problems are here right now. And we will be continuously adding more solved problems in here. Now, how are we going to access these members-only videos ng chemical engineering calculations? No? So, if you visit our Facebook page, may kita ninyo, meron ditong join button. No? So, you, all you have to do is to join. And then, we have here as a supporter, as 25 pesos per month. And once you support us, ma-access nyo na kagad yung ating chemical engineering calculations reviewer. No? Yung mga solved problems natin for chemical engineering calculations. So, this is a support sa ating channel para makagawa pa tayo ng mas maraming video. But, as you can see, meron pa tayong iba ditong mga membership options. So, meron tayong board exam refresher in here, which is 99 pesos per month. So, meron tayo ditong day 2 refresher course, meron tayong day 1 and day 3 refresher course. Pero, ang mga-access ninyo dito is yung chemical engineering na reviewer and also yung physical and chemical principles na reviewer. And ito namang board exam natin for general engineering is free to access in public. Okay guys, so I hope you will support our YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a nice day. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. 
So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.